Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the uh, live stream show of the Facebook group, the International Brotherhood of Palavans. I am your host, uh, James P. Madonna, and the founder of the group in 2012. I am also the creator of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And I am here with my one and only, and this time he is on audio, no typing, the one and only, the one and only, the Commodore Jeff Zambello from uh, the Maritime Provinces of Canada, uh, originally Boston, Massachusetts. Jeff, glad to have you back. Thank you, sir. Can I please have a bow swing whistle for the Commodore? You will get that. And I will blow the trumpet of truth, the shofar. And now for the trumpet of truth. I have one request for the show after the trumpet of truth. Oh, okay. Okay. What was that request? This is a request that the Golden Capon Award um, be um, um, awarded to any of the people that look at our show that are not supporting uh, Kashi Azad coming over to the United States to have them at their gym and to spread the, uh, the good news about, um, you know, uh, Polybon training with the uh, uh, yeah. the meal, uh, the meal, the Persian meal, and um, the the shadow boy. Okay, so um, what you're saying is, uh, uh, gym owner, gym, gymnasium owners, and uh, enthusiasts uh, involved with al alternative training and circular torque training that are that are not proactively that are not proactive and proactively involved and, and do not see the value in booking people like Kashi Azad, who has to fly God knows how many hours from uh, Sydney, Australia. And yeah. people that are not proactive, that don't, they're, they're like, they're like a, a, a dead fly. They, they, they don't participate at all. Yes, they belong in the castrated uh, Capon Awards section. Now, seven lucky. Coming off for 30 seconds and giving someone a, a pretty report. Let's all stand up for Kashi and let's all benefit everybody from Savannah, Georgia, all the way up to the tip of Maine. So, anywhere on the east coast of the United States, people should be begging, begging on hands and knees, hat in hand, to have this man, this yeah. legend, uh, go to their job. Well, well honest, honestly, there, it, 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 it's all pros and really no, very little or no cons to, to, to book Kashi Azad in their uh, alternative gymnasiums uh, through, uh, up and down the East Coast, even like Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Chicago, St. Louis. I mean, book them, man, uh, Texas. I don't understand why people are not jumping on this and taking advantage of his visit to the... To the United States, I really I don't I can't see the logic in them not not booking him, knowing he's coming to connect uh, to to cunt neck to cut connect to cunt uh, uh, in uh, this April of 2019. I don't see anyone proactively putting out banners 
that they are booking the great Kashi Azad after the poor soul has got to fly almost 30 hours probably from Sydney, Australia to a JFK airport in New York. Give me a break. Where are all these people? I don't see them. I hear cricket. Chip, 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 chip. Hey, I just want to say, Jeff, uh, I am uh, so glad that... Uh, uh, that I have you on audio because from my end the audio sounds outstanding and crystal clear now I hope that that hawk nose bastard Zuckerberg doesn't One for you and two for the doesn't sub sabotage the show and mute I just because there's no I don't think there's any way you can be muted because uh, uh, what happened is uh, last time I had you on Facebook video chat and you, your voice was muted. So let's cross our fingers to make sure that, that it, it doesn't happen. I, I can't logically see it happen because you're, you're talking to me from Google, YouTube. Yeah. A totally, totally different website. Different shareholders. Yeah. I think he's, East, he's an East Indian. Uh, yeah. the, 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 the crooked guy who doesn't put on the, um, the, the conservative Republican stuff on. We're, we're not going to have politics yeah. yet. Well, anyway, anyway, uh, anyway I got to say something. Don, uh, Donald Boos has joined uh, um, the show. Donald, could you do me a flavor? Could you tell me if you hear Jeff Zambello's voice? Jeff, say something. Hi, Donald. I enjoy all those um, the, the shows on the uh, the ship um, with the, um, uh, the, the the fun the, bands. The resorts. Yeah, cover bands. Cover bands. The, yeah. the, the resorts, and he is going to Las Vegas very shortly. He, after a long period of absence, I believe, he's returning Good. to Sin City. And, and uh, he joined. He, he joined. Divorced middle-aged woman. Yeah, yeah. Well, he joined, and he hasn't said anything. And I asked him, please let me fucking know if you hear Jeff Zambello's voice. Well, do you hear his voice or not? Aside from mine. Anyway, so... A golden cape on award on the how high the The castrated cape on. Uh, golden, golden is, is giving these people too much uh too too much credit too too many accolades they're castrated oh. cape on award cat all right oh. seven seven lucky bells gold. I, have a, I have a ring to it james jeffrey gold jeffrey gold well that i, I think a lot of jews uh, are named gold like the guy oh. like the uh, show uh, hardcore porn yeah, but have golden balls. and and hairy ones at that uh, yeah right. all right Seven Lucky Bells are uh, representing Jeff Zambello's official New Jersey main office, which is the Hilton Hotel on Polly Fly Road in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. He hasn't fucking said a word. This is what pisses me off about people on social media. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Let me ring, uh, let me ring the honeymooner's bell. That's the one I like. Oh, Thelma, can you please enter the dining room? With my coffee, I would like two lumps. You keep ringing that, you keep ringing that bell and you'll get two lumps. Hey, Jim, you know who's on the pot with Flo on the, on, a, on the comedy show, uh, Alice? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she's a little horny, uh, middle-aged woman there. Yeah, she was. Maybe Donald Bush should go after someone like that in last night. I, I think she's a, she's a, she was a cougar before the word cougar was coined, before the word cougar became popular. Uh, Ooh, la, la, la. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're going to love, you're going to love my new thick, heavy wine glass I, uh, that I am displaying right now that I, I purchased today along with my tulip-shaped scotch whiskey glass. And I am very happy to say. Oh, I'm a bully if it's not apple ju apple juice or apple cider. Uh, 
if it's I not should. apple cider, I'm a bully. That's yeah. right. A Paul Ta a Taris, look it up on, on Google, Taris Mokowinski said I was a bully for telling the truth. But anyway, I purchased these two glasses at the Dollar Tree. They are, they are heavy, thick, and, and very uh, uh, aesthetically appealing to the eye. So, and I, I love a great bargain. There's nothing like a great bargain for a buck. And, exactly. Uh, are there any bargains this week at all? These not to take away from the show, but just one or two items. They're all well. I, I I picked up some uh, a big box of uh, chicken and cheddar cheese, a quesadillas that I will snack on later on. Uh, they have to do with burritos through a drive-thru, but yet the <laughs> ranch extends to expensive dimension. How can a person? How can a person, let's, let's just say it's a tall, skinny, mustachioed man, uh, a long stream of urine analysis. Let's say this man brags that he lives at a country club with in-ground pool and everything and palm trees and, and, and Roman columns in, in, around the pool. And this individual practically every night has to go through a drive through and purchase a burrito for his dinner. Now, something is wrong with that picture, Jeff Zambello. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he, he, country club, but yet has to eat a burrito with white rice filler, and maybe, uh, oh, wait a minute. He, 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 he speaks Mexican style Spanish, and there's young ladies working at the place. Maybe he is there to uh, flirt and impress the young Spanish women. Uh, that maybe that's why he has a hankering for burritos every night. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this first story out of the way real quick. Um, as if you people have been following what I've been doing, every Saturday I have been video recording the performing artists. The king of creativity, Ken Create. Yes, Ken Create. I've been, I've been video recording him and putting it on the internet. Now, the manager who has been staring at me, that, that has been trying to stare me down, he is a general manager of Club Cubanel, but he is a mere in his past. He has no business background. He is only a, a DJ in the past. He has no. No degree, uh, you know, he has no real solid business background, uh, no no credentials to make Is him. DJ like a Don Juan? Yeah, it's somebody who kisses up to the ladies in the club in the bar. Yes, it, they 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 take they take a song requests no matter how lame they are, and they play Is they. Don Juan. Don Juan. Yeah, they spin. They spin music. They spin songs. Donald Foods would know many Don Juan because he always goes to Mexico. Don Juan, and then he's gone. Well, his name is still there, and he hasn't answered my question. Anyway, oh, Joe Salza's. Uh, oh, I hope Joe hey, Salza. No, wait a minute. No, I got a. I got a massage, and I, I mean, I got a message from. Uh, Joe Salza, but he hasn't. Can he hear me? His name hasn't appeared it's yet. Joe. Hey, Joe, come aboard uh, the pirate ship, man. Come aboard. That's your cousin, right, James? No, no, my cousin is John John Pantalon. That's that's I'm my right cousin. From last week. Yeah, no, Joe Salza is another friend of mine. Now, he's a paisan. I. I don't know if he's Portuguese, Italian. I'm not sure. He might be. A, I don't know. I never. Ha I never asked him. But let me get tell the story. All right. So this guy has been staring me down. The the DJ that is a kind of a pseudo uh, uh, general manager uh, that really has complained to Ken that he wishes he was a DJ again because he has too much responsibility as a general manager. Meanwhile, Jimmy Liguori says, uh, with extra pay, uh, uh, does he, he probably took the job because they're paying him a lot more now. 
right? So he's complaining, but he's getting extra pay. Anyway, he's there. He's, he's been staring me down. He comes up to me. Yeah, a tough guy comes up to me, and he scolds me like a child and tells me, no more videos. I says, what about all, all the millennial girls, girls, the millennial young, young women or young ladies, and I, I, I use that term very loosely, how come they're taking videos? They're taking videos with their smartphones of their girlfriends all night long as well as, as, well as selfies selfies and videos all night long i says isn't that called the double standard he ignored what i had to say and he and then he scolds me again if you do it if you if i catch you one more time i'm gonna have you removed from the club so you know what i did i went on google reviews because i have a big following on google reviews and the and the owners always see my reviews and often get back to me i went on google reviews i tore him a new asshole i told the whole story about the yeah. dirty the dirty double standard against men in in the in the bar scene and how they how they suck up to women in bars and nightclubs and dance clubs and i'm going to go officially to club cubanel total facebook page and i'm going to do the same thing on the facebook page so Morgan, his name is Morgan. You're no, you're no Captain Morgan like the Spice Rum commercial. You're <laughs> you're a fucking punk, okay? Double standard, dirty double standard. The girls can take videos of their friends, as well as selfies, as well as hugging each other and jumping up and down and screaming and acting like lesbians, which I don't care. It's you know they just do that in front of men to show off. That that they like they don't that they don't need men. That's like a that's a feminist thing. Is that like right? yeah? I like it's very very G rated. Yeah. Is that it, like people eat fruit loops out of a certain yes. Crevice? Yeah, a crevice. That it to me it, it a feminist thing is anti male. It's definitely anti alpha male, and it's like it's like a woman sportscaster that just barges into an nfl locker room and 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 all of a sudden the guys are supposed to come out of the shower and cover up Ooh, a woman reporter Ooh, we, we must cover our our crotches let me tell you she comes she walks into an nfl locker room what she sees is what she sees yeah otherwise don't walk into a men's locker room Right, the guy's trying to shower. Right, you know, you know, guy, guy, men have to have a man cave. They have to have some privacy in their lives. They can't, you know, they can't like say, "Oh, oh, I just took a shower. I better cover up now." Yeah, yeah. One must remember who built all those bridges that the, you know, that these people are crossing every day. You know, going to the Manhattan and everything else. Yeah, it was brave men, many. Who, who fell into the uh, the Hudson River and, and the ocean and everything else, risking their lives? What about the Golden Gate Bridge? There were lives lost building that too. You know, uh, uh, got, uh, people falling into uh, cement and oh my goodness! Uh, uh, but uh, uh, skyscrapers, the building of skyscrapers, and uh, ah. you know, I mean, a high a high union pay or not, those guys are risking they're risking their lives and. and but the thing is, in your estimation, does that sound like a dirty double standard of what that guy Morgan did? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I thought I thought so. It, you know, he just totally ignored what I had to say about the girl, about the young females taking videos of each other all night long. And you know what? The war is never going to end. Not with me. He doesn't realize. You know, when we when we give when we do vendetta. Yeah, we do vendetta, and we don't stop until the person. Could there be a, could there be a ballpoint pen in someone's upper ear? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. What if a ballpoint pen, like when Joe Pesci uh, uh, in that movie, what was it, Casino, or yeah. or stabbed the guy right through the hand, uh, uh, or 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 another gentleman. Oh. Another gentleman passed a ballpoint pen through another man's ear. 
I think I uh, wouldn't that be lovely. Well, I said I said it to a certain person. Um, but what about the police? Isn't that a crime? He says it's not a crime if no one sees it. You know what? That's what they. That's what they nod, used. To, nod, wink, wink. Nod, nod, wink, wink. That's what the the. That's what the heels used to say in professional wrestling. It's not cheating. In the, if the referee didn't see it, it never happens. Yeah. It's only cheating if the referee sees it and catches you. <laughs> it's like when when Jesse Ventura used to say, "Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat." <laughs> we don't want to get we don't want to get that out because then then we're, we're going to sound like the Mr. Mace Man, you know, the guy who with the thin mustache. You know, we never heard of him. Yeah, never heard of him. Never heard of him. No. It's like Donald Sutherland in the movie The uh, The Twelve There. Uh, oh, what the hell is that movie with Jim Brown for the Army there? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Now yeah, I. Yeah. I had a big debate with somebody about, I had a big de debate on Twitter and called this feminist a fake phony feminist because she, of course she was all for equal pay for equal work, which is fine, but, but she wants special, she wants special treatment when she goes out on a date. The man's got to pay for everything and do everything. I said, wait a minute, that's a double standard. That's like more. That's like Morgan at Club Cubanel. That's a double standard. She says, ah, da, 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 da. Uh, "Well, you know, when they can't debate you, they they start calling you names and uh, what, what's so that?" Don't mention names. Misogynist. Is there, is there a double standard when somebody keeps flying back and forth across the United States on their unmentioned? Loot. Yes, there is a there is an yeah, older nod, oh, nod. there's wink, a nod nod wink wink. There's a there is a uh, a woman from Denmark, a Scandinavian Northern European older woman. She uh, wears tight spandex like like Kelly does like Kelly does, and she travels on her husband's dime. Everywhere she 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 gets pampered at at health clubs and spas. She probably gets a massage several times a week. Uh, she goes to resorts. She she attends every single fitness seminar in the country so far. Next is probably the world. And her husband pay her husband pays for it, and she never talks about her husband and never shows photographs of her husband on Facebook. And the poor, the poor sap pays for everything. And, and she's going to be in Connecticut with Kelly Manzone and uh, for the Kashi Azad, for the Kashi Azad, uh, um, uh, all these people on Facebook. It's annoying, is, is somebody coming on to the show? No, people, people no, you, you know what's happening? People are sending people that I know. That was Salvatore Mercurio. People are sending. No, they're sending. What are you gonna take me to lunch? They're sending me messages, but they're not coming aboard the live stream show. If you if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, let me tell you a story, and it's not a story about a man named Jay. I was supposed to. I was I was supposed. I was supposed to get picked up this morning by uh, Salvatore Mercurio and Mario Petras. To go to go to that organic raw dairy farm in New Jersey. Guess what? What? I got stiffed. No, no call. No email. No, no text. No nothing. I got. I set the alarm to get up earlier for nothing. For nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm like in New Jersey twice already. I'm probably gonna be going to get a May, and that's what I called to me on May 11th. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, I won't mention this this nice gentleman's name, but he was supposed to go lunch with us at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Room Forty Six. Well, he, well, he said, "Let me." He said, "Let me know when Jeff. Let me know when Jeff Zambello's in the area." And I always let him know. I I, I mean, uh, the thing is, this is the third time, uh, the second or third time I got stiffed. Uh, yeah, but it put me like in Vermont. Or 
No, 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 no. He lives in Wayne. Wayne is about maybe maybe 15, 15 to, no, I wouldn't say 20 minutes. I'd say more like eh, 15, 15 minutes west off of Interstate Route 80, 15 minutes west of Hasbrook, of ha of Hasbrook Kites. Yeah, it's about... I yeah. especially like Rockaway, the Rockaway Mall. There, I know Rockaway. I know Lake of Pecong, Bud Lake. Uh, I know all that uh, of Fairfield, Caldwell, where uh, J uh, JFK, the late JFK Jr. used to take off. His plane used to take off at, at the airport over there. That's Ooh. that's how he. That's before he crashed. Uh, you know. But anyway, I digress. But the point is, I said. No more. I don't want to hear about raw dairy farms. I don't want to hear about for all. Hey, for all I know, it might have been deliberate just to bust my balls. No. I might have been deliberately because, yeah. Business. I can't came up. You must have that fast. You Yeah, but how many how many times does a person need to be stood up before you start to wonder? Get and get suspicious. Oh, I I said the word wonder. How does that song go? Oh, I wonder, wonder, do, 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 who wrote the book of love? Remember that song? Yeah. The do I, I also remember the Elvis Presley song. The wonder of you. Yeah. I hope everybody from here to Australia, to Australia. Can you hear my lovely voice? Now, uh, uh, well, well, well. So far, Donald hasn't let me know if he hears Jeff Zambello's voice, and he's still here. I see his name. Yeah, do you hear that? Hey, the bell matches my red background because the bell is red. Uh, now listen, I, I, there are so many people that belong in the castrated capon award, uh, Jeff Zambello. I swear, there are so many. And, and you know what? You live and learn. You, you realize that, I hate to say it, but what do you think? 95% of... You don't think? Make waves. Oh, don't be! Oh, you're a bull! Don't be a bully! Don't make waves! Do you, Do you think that ni at least ninety five percent of of all people are full of shit? Oh, I think today, yeah, like I'm telling you, some squatting. I get ready for my power to meet on um, May eleventh in Portland, Maine. Okay. Yeah. 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 The main state powerlifting championship. Yeah, they're, they're maniacs but over there, man. We'll be going against steroid assholes, cheaters, but that's okay. Um, anyways, so I'm squatting today, and I'm you know, working out with three plates, you know, just 315. You know, I'm 54 years old here, right? So uh, one of the guys comes in, oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing squats, doing squats. Well, what did you do? Oh, I did, did several sets of uh, 315 pounds times five bucks per set. Well, that's okay. Um, hello? Uh, that's okay. When I squat, I go way below parallel. It's called a squat, not a deep knee bend. Okay? I believe this is 589. It's a full, okay? it's a full now, squat. It's a full squat. Working out for sets of five for 315, even 10 seasons. Will have my back on this. He'll, Ken Jesus will support me. Yes. Okay? If I was 35, okay, that's a warm up set, right? Not a work set. Right? Because in the meet, mark my words, I'll be squatting 407, not 405, because the counts are calling. So don't get assholes biting those things. Oh, who's going to count? You know what, asshole? It's 185 kilograms. Look it up. 407 pounds, okay? Power is in metrics. There's no such thing as 
405 pounds. Now, 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 do they... and drug free. Now, do they, uh, when you enroll in, um, when you enroll in these competitions and, and you take... I want to have these tough guys. My little nephew is here, right? Okay? We're tough guys, okay? No, okay, you, no. Not the live show. I guarantee that we stick to for people. Ooh, full some squad. Yeah, it's a full squad. Jerk. No, you know what you have? You have people that I'm in the Matthews three division, okay? You ha you have people you have people Matthew. that you oh somebody just uh came and left because we were not we were not uh, uh a person who should be having Kashi Azad. Well, yeah, there's tons of alternative gymnasium owners that should have should be booking yeah. Kashi Azad. Watch the show by thirty seconds, but they don't contribute. Poor Kashi. Poor Kashi, flying thirty hours just to just to do one seminar in Connecticut, and then ha he has to fly all the way back to Sydney, Australia, because of all the numbskulls, uh, knuckleheads, and imbeciles that cannot book the. The man taking advantage of a true Polyvon and and a he, and a head Polyvani coach of the South Pacific and Australia, they exactly. can't do it. The national coach of his country. Yes, his country and South Pacific, and they can't book him. Oh, hey, what about how many in the Northeast alone? How many alternative? Uh, uh gyms you think there is there's the there's the one who sucked up to mr mace man right uh uh daniel Bra uh, uh daniel ramsay there's jeff uh butterworth in boston there's uh there's eric Rio. Wait, you mean who got visited by somebody on the way to ireland but we won't mention names who in their right mind that's a mentally ill person they'll go from logan international airport all the way to Somerville. Massachusetts, which is outside of Boston, it's north of Boston, take a taxi cab, right? Right. Wait for this person, the owner, to come outside. I'm trying to keep it anonymous, okay? And they say, oh, I know, what are you doing here? And they say, see you. Oh, I'm going to Ireland. And then just snubs this guy. Snub? Snub? <laughs> What kind of person is that? Anyways, so yeah. I don't really care. So anyways, uh, I do care. Well, but well, the people that are... I'm, a nice, I'm not kidding you. I'm going to have a nice cold glass of spring water. Listen, listen again. Hold on, listen to me turtle. Hold on. Oh, you're talking about the spring water that you were deprived in Lodi, ah. New Jersey? In Lodi, New Jersey, at New Breed Fitness, right, right, a, right after the Mr. Mace Man seminar, where everyone was 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 demanded or commanded to clear out the gym after after doing a hundred after doing one hundred swings with a light mace, sweating bullets, and in over ninety degrees plus humidity. And I was hearing Tony Robbins. The soliloquies, yes, uh, 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 hearing the, what do you call anecdotes, stories, jokes, limericks, uh, ho, 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 hearty, har, 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 ho, 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 yeah, for, uh, as, I have no mitochondria, okay, these, these are people that are caught up in the fad, and I, I, I cannot overemphasize those three letters, fad, of, of steel, mace, circular training, trying to pass it off like they did with kettlebells as the panacea physical fitness that does it all. It does it all. You name it, it does it for your body. Oh, really? Well, guess what? They're full of shit. <laughs> Plain and simple. It's good. It does help with your pantry. It loses up your shoulders, lubricates everything, but you got to do moderate weight, and it's not a strength. Contest. No, 
No, if no. Uh, okay. You do Again, the basic. If you no, do, uh, how, if gee. somebody wants to debate me, I, please debate me. James and I want to debate. If I'm saying something wrong, do it on the live show. I don't need to hear what the criticism. Oh, I'm a know-it-all hey. from Harvard, supposedly that the know-it-all dummies who wait uh, till the next day on the recorded version. The 64 viewers. Do you remember your 64 viewers from last week's show, James? There was? 64. 64 views. So everybody. But they don't want to. They don't want to come on when they we're alive. Are they afraid we might sink our our vet our our werewolf teeth into their they jugular veins? On the show and debate with us. It's okay, we're all friends. We're not gonna bite we're, we're not gonna bite your head. Well it depends on it depends on what they one question. It depends on what they say. We'll bite their head off. I was a, I was in Lord New Jersey and actually we were in Garfield, New Jersey. Excuse me. And that's when the Red Sox won that night. Yeah. And we were in um Blackjack Mulligans. Fighters. We were having fighters at Blackjack Mulligan and partaking. In some you and Ling, you and Ling, Ling. Uh, ale. Anyways, but when I saw people at bat for both teams, the, the Los Angeles Dodgers or the Boston Red Sox, they had their hands together. These are people who make ten million dollars a year. Yeah. So if a guy making ten million dollars a year swinging a baseball bat keeps his hands together, or Tiger Woods. Swinging a golf club keeps his hands together, and Tiger Woods has made hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. Am I missing something? I was up. I was up. Tell me eight hundred dollars, please. Oh, sorry. If I criticize. Okay, I'll just cut the six hundred bucks. Anyway. Well, a a, a rule. I was told, and I was very angry. That about it that a uh, root canal and crown has officially uh, gone up to seventeen hundred dollars per tooth. Wow. So so this kind of reminds me of people one with for, one for you and two for us. Yes, anyway, this, this kind of remind this this kind of reminds me of uh, uh, people with no uh, academic. Uh, 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 a credit, a credit, academic, uh, sports or physical fitness background, uh, t doing t doing seminars and wanting a thousand dollars a person. It reminds me of that. It's like it's called being a crook and getting away with it. Living in America. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, James Brown. Yes. America. <laughs> the rock uh the rocky movie with uh, ivan drakov i yeah, shall I say that because you can because you know that tony robin soliloquies on tap the kitchen you can make it in america you the have you you have except the one who has a singapore a beautiful beautiful pretty Singapore wife, but why can't that? Why is that individual criticized? Because he teaches classes in Dubai and in Western Europe, and perhaps even in Eastern Europe. Um, but he's not supposed to, because he only took one seminar class. Yeah. Anyway, and and received a and and, and received a. And, and received a diploma with no academic value. Does Jack Joke Shop come to mind? You hear that, folks? Oh, listen, listen. A, you spend $1,000 on a diploma or fake certificate that has no academic value at all none it, it's an expensive a, a wallpaper it's like the placemat you get at a diner 
when you order coffee and uh, uh, corned beef hash and eggs and home fried potatoes. Sitting in the original fryer back and forth 3,000 miles. That's what gets these little pieces of paper. Uh, for the corned meal. Yeah. On the hot and liver. Yeah. 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 Y
you know, and, and they're and they're feeling his arms and all the girls are oh. you and you and I have already been through this many times. This is one of the things I've learned from you. Because the same yuppie arrogant jerks that won't <clears throat> dare to touch a gata with a bamboo handle need to need to have the best three hundred dollar steel vases. That's what you're impressed. Yeah. You can't threaten them because you have to make yeah. them feel important. The same people yeah. who who have uh, approval addiction and that that need hero worshippers. You see, That's why you can't offend or threaten the sycophant. See, you can't. We're not putting down. We're not putting. We're not putting down any circular training tool. What we're putting down is the exploitation of circular torque training, which is suckering people into thinking that circular training does it all number one and number two that you need to give some crook 800 600 800 or a thousand dollars a person to take their seminar now you see what i'm holding well you were you don't see it but the, the folks you see what i'm holding power bands with ne neoprene rubber handles power bands industrial industrial uh, 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 I mean warehouse pallet bands attached to heavy duty tubing what I'm trying to say is the muscles don't give a shit right where where or how the resistance is 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 coming the workload the, the muscles don't care how the workload is being put on them all they all they know is the amount of stress the, the amount of resistance that's being uh, placed upon the muscle group. So it doesn't right. matter if it's, it's a log from an oak tree or if it's a granite boulder or if, it's a, if they're power bands or dumbbells or barbells. Well, right. $30 in Canada, which is only 23 US dollars. Yeah, the mall, the mall hammer, exactly, you know. They, the, the muscles don't give a shit where or how the resistance is being put on them. And these, these, these kids are so naive. These young millennial guys are so naive when they hear this bullshit. It's all sales hype. And who cares how much somebody can bench? Who cares? It's all sales hype. They, 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 they're suckered into spending the thousand dollars ahead, the thousand dollars ahead. Now, what I want to do now is discuss the, the, the backbone of this show, which is Jeff Zambello's Muscle and Ministry with a Message, Part Two. Take it away, Jeff Zambello. Fill people in on how your workshops are going they 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 have advanced and you have good news oh yeah very good news um and i think a couple of people that go to the first power with the meet um uh, prince Aaron island um the april 20th and one of the guys is going to pull 700 pounds and he's doing very well he's very enthusiastic um He's overcome a lot of challenges in his life, and it's all through powerlifting. And um, that, that's what sports are supposed to do for you. Like, I got people, I had mentors back in the 80s, and, um, you know, I was in my early 20s, and they made me where I am today, and they're the ones who made me go to graduate school. Um, anyways, if you just give somebody your time. Uh, and I, I know I always tell it to James, and he gets sick of me telling this. But one thing, one thing James P. Madonna will do is give you his time. Time is the greatest gift you can give to a person because you never get it back. So if somebody asks you to leave a gym, I'm not going to elaborate on this, you know, because they have to discuss. <clears throat> excuse me, I have to clear my throat. Um, business. Um, 
but yet we hear a different story that meant that they don't want to give you the time. Um, they can always fly, but anyways, I digress. Yeah, that was um, and that was Anthony. Games has nothing to do with New York City. New York City is boring. You twiddle your thumbs. Well, we, yeah, but we don't we don't have breasts and a vagina. Uh, Anthony Lore was sending me. Back to this ministry thing. So I'll be teaching every Saturday yeah, at nine o'clock um, to a, a men's group uh, in, in ministry, and I'll be teaching them the basics of, uh, for example, um, I am using a lot of the teaching from Steve Maxwell, and there's also a funny story about. <clears throat> Somewhere related to Steve. <laughs> well, that's just not, I, I like Steve, but we're going to keep it. Uh, James was on there. Anyway, so, um, so I'm using some of the basic principles and, and how not to hurt yourself, especially your shoulders. But when you do like push ups, I'll teach the men that you're going to put your shoulders like, um, over your fingers, etc., um, etc., et to keep your elbows in. And not tear it out, just the basics. And if you can't do regular push ups, you do um, the modified push ups, having your knees on the ground. And these people will progress. And same thing with the pull up. They do uh, something called an Australian pull up, where you put a barbell inside of a squat rack and you put your feet on the ground. And um, it's a modified pull up. Uh, a lot of women do them, but men can start out doing that. And um, and then we'll be doing a lot of unilateral leg exercises. Uh, we'll be doing uh, something called DANS, D-A-N-D-S. And we can find this on Kashi Azad's uh, Facebook page called um, the, uh, Persian Yoga. And it's a wonderful page. And um, so it's um, body weight squats on your toes, not on your heels, on your toes. And um, it's very good, so we're doing set to 20 to begin with, move up to set to 50, okay? And um, chair squats, all body weight exercises. I'm also gonna bring some um, mallets, and they're like uh, three pound mallets, four pound mallets, and I will teach them how to start off with um, centrifugal torque training. Yeah. Um, yeah. Please sue me, whoever. You know, um, so. Are you talking about the dead blow hammers? Uh, kind of, but the ones up here are very light. Um, uh, they're rubber. I don't want to use that. I use um, ones with steel heads. And they, they double yeah. faced. Do you know what I mean? Like um, yeah. Oh, the double anyway, face, like a mallet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're they're before uh, four. Yeah, four inward mills, outward mills, um, those types of things, and also um, grabbing the top of the handle, having the head of the hammer facing the ground, and then. Doing shoulder exercises like that, it builds up your forearms and all the connective tissues, so you can progress into other sports and other movements. Um, a lot of um, functional movements, uh, modified yoga, um, where you put your feet through one of your legs on one hand and then you get into a push-up position. I don't even know what those are called, but everybody knows what they are. We'll be doing all kinds of push-ups. We'll be doing push-ups where every rep you take one of your knees and you touch the elbow. Then you put that foot back. And then with the other with the next push-up, you take the other leg and with the kneecap and touch the elbow. Go that go back. Incredible. So, and then we'll be doing planks, we'll be doing planches. All kinds of stuff. So that's it in a nutshell. Yeah, you're and you're a hey, four pound a four pound mallet is for for swinging 
uh, in terms of mobility and, and a warm up. That's nothing to sneeze at. A four pound dead blow hammer is great. Yeah. And um, it's great for your elbows, your shoulders, everything. Now, do you see how comprehensive? And also, another thing I like is yeah. the um, I think it's on a Akashi is on the Persian Yoga page, which I love. That page is those um, um, Indian dumbbell. Uh, oh, the when they the ones they swing to the left and to the I right. I love it. I love that exercise. And those things burn. They give you the best burns. So you should do at least 30 reps, you know, times two. Uh, but when you do your left and your right, that's one repetition, they burn. You tell them a vein is popping out? Hey, you know something? I was thinking, I bet you can do that movement with the four pound dead blow hammers. I mallets. do. I do. That the, you know you, you know what I mean that this what they do in the Akara in India in India when they swing uh, you know like right hand swings towards the left shoulder left hand swings towards the right shoulder yeah that's it and you have a laser beam an invisible laser beam supposedly on the floor to the ceiling so you're keeping that same line so you you're moving your torso now. And, yeah. Anyways, now, so, um, you, yeah, you yeah. see, you see how complicated. I will be filming those classes, so it's going to be all four, the four Saturdays in March, and I will be uh, recording those on the video. That'll be fantastic. <laughs> and That'll James be will be compiling um, them and editing them and uh, yeah. assembling them together into a yeah beginners. Program and, and when I visit James in the United States, every time I visit, we're going to go to different um, churches just to put them in the ministry and um, um, I just teach the men. Well, you, you basic, have a uh, basic tools you have at the house, oh. and everybody has a chair, everybody knows how to do body movement, you have body weight movements, and and then you can progress into other things. And then you are going to try to use a sledgehammer. As a mace, different weights of the sledgehammer. With with an eight pound sledgehammer, a twelve pound sledgehammer, a sixteen pound sledgehammer. Okay, without hurting elbows, and you don't want to make yeah. surgeons rich and buy the next swimming pool or the next potato Yeah, and, and, it's, and instead of spending a lot of money on uh, uh, an overpriced, it's uh, you know, Liberty, uh, <laughs> New Liberty Airport, and having them in the New Jersey State Police. Yelling at you. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I meant the, I meant the, the, I meant the 16 pound wall hammer is an outstanding value to, uh, as a mace, you know, uh, re replacement, let's say uh, a mace from any one of these companies that charge a lot more. But your program is so comprehensive. It's, it's, it's Frank uh, DeMeo, a wonderful coach down in Florida. He, he, he teaches a wonderful exercise, it's a push-up. And then he uses a, a steel club, but I use um, you know, hammers and mallets. And you actually grab the mallet and you bring it out to the side. So you run three points, like one arm, one hand, yeah. two, two legs. And then you get the, the hammer out there. I'm gonna demonstrate that. I don't want to have too much time trying to describe things on this show because people get bored and they won't listen. But they'll see it on James Madonna's uh, video compilation. Well, um, if you if you download on Dropbox, you you uh, hopefully you'll be able to attach. I'm not gonna do Dropbox. I'm gonna set it right on Facebook and you're gonna get it. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could download it off Facebook. I, I, I like that video I did in the quarry. I won't. Be, <laughs> I won't be able to download. It. He's not hearing me. I won't be able to download on Facebook. Uh, anyway. Well, is there a certain someone? <laughs> no, it, I, I, it Facebook. It's like the chocolate diamond. You gotta, you gotta, you you gotta download on on Dropbox on Dropbox. You gotta download. You gotta have the pro. I can't. I can't compile them. 
unless I have them. And, um, hmm. Okay, we'll do Dropbox. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, your program okay. is. How much is how much are we getting paid? Zero. <sighs> well, you're yeah. also you're also helping people. Where is it? Where you're, is it? you're helping people that uh, um, may 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 have hit rock bottom. You're helping them. You're changing their lives. You're turning their lives around through a fatherly advice, you know, kind of like Customato did with uh, Mike Tyson, yeah. uh, you know, and you're, uh, you've turned people's lives around and uh, your, your, wor your workshop blows away, blows away all these expensive seminars that are out there costing a lot of money. You're absolutely blowing them away. And I'm not, first and foremost, I am not looking to be hero worship. That's true. That's true. There will be no diplomas. There's only real life experience. Five gold medals from actual world championships that are sanctioned. Sanctioned, everybody. Sanctioned. Like real, real credentials. I went against real men, Russians, Europeans, everybody, people from Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Germany, everybody. Okay? Now now the foundation the found Ah, oh, look who look very strong in Finland, let me tell you right now. Look who's look who look who sent her love to our live show Adore. Uh, from Thailand, a, a professional singer from hey, Thailand. She's yes, she's. She's a good man here, James Madonna. She's a uh, she's a beautiful woman, and she has a beautiful voice. And she's yep. from Thailand, and she she's a big fan of our live shows. So, welcome, Daw. Welcome, dear. Welcome, and thank you for giving uh, uh, placing a heart. Uh, uh, well, I'm sure she can hear my voice. Oh, yeah, you hear Jeff's voice? Jeff Sambello, the other guy, do you hear his voice? Anyway, um... Is Don uh, Bruce there? His name is there, but he's not saying the damn thing. Did he write any comment? Nothing. Nothing. And, and, and all the... And, and Anthony Laura is sending me messages on Facebook. Uh, 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 Salvatore Mercurio sent me a message, but... They, they they know I'm they know I'm going live. You know, there's there's so many Weisenheimers out there. I swear the real wise asses, they know I am going live now. I think a shillelagh that is a is a very good tool for what what some might call an old fashioned nose job. Now, you know, these some of the some of these Weisenheimers, you know what I notice they do that that really is arrogant. They, they belong to groups that are good groups. Like, let's say uh, everything is food, right? But... Yeah, but one of them, James, you and I discussed it. We have to give one of these, one of these very nice young men a pass because there's clientele and that's all we're going to say. Well, I'm talking about people that post. I'm talking about people that only post on their profile on Facebook and they don't post on any group. In other words, they're not they're not proactively involved at all. They're just it's just dead weight. They're they're members of of groups, but they don't participate. And hmm. these this is like a, a pretentious arrogant the first ones to criticize us, James. Yeah, well, yeah, what what is so special do they think they're going to get discovered? They honestly think they have the. If they we put if, a conversation, but we're opening up the invitation for everybody to to join us. No, I know, I know several individuals. We are not bullies. I know several Christian men. I, I'm not full of that. I'm going to get paid to die. Listen, I'm paying for my own gasoline, my own hotel. Right, I know several people on social media that put everything on their profile like they're going to get discovered let me tell you something 
a couple of them are, are smart cookies. A lot of them, they're legends in their own mind. <laughs> You're not getting discovered. If anybody's going to get discovered that has pizzazz and charisma, is yours truly, James P. Madonna and Jeff Zamfella. Let me, and you can, and you, and Kashi is not, well, I, I never heard Kashi speak. I, I don't know if he has pizzazz and charisma. Maybe he does. He does. I see him all the time on, on, okay. on YouTube, on, um, on, uh, the, the Persian yoga page, everything else. Well, does he, He's does he? Very, 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 very good teacher. So, so in other words, he doesn't put people to sleep like the, no. like, like, poor, like, people. like the, like the man they call Taris. He, he doesn't put people to sleep like the Taris. You know, uh, 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 um, uh, he has charisma. Hey, maybe that's why the guy with the skinny mustache is able to uh, cast his spell on so many people because he has that soothing voice with the big, the big chest.